Hello, I'm Nan Simonson. I am a lifestyle medical health coach. I have my green on for St. Patty's Day tomorrow. And am I making something that has anything to do with St. Patrick's Day? No. I'm talking about beans and I'm talking about the number one bean in America uh, used most often and that is the pinto bean. They're inexpensive, they're delicious, they're rather creamy with a kind of a mild nutty flavor and they blend with everything. I got a book that I wanted to show you and recommend. Love this. Tony Akimoto has written a book, Plant-Based on a Budget, Quick and Easy, as a lifestyle medical coach, as a person who is going on five years, whole food plant-based exclusive, and at 72, healthier than ever on nothing but plants. I thought, okay, I love this book because some people don't wanna to get too involved with spending a lot of time in the kitchen, feeling that they have to um, sacrifice time for a great meal as opposed to go out and just pick up something that is probably way too loaded with fat, sugar, and salt. Even things that aren't supposed to be sweet tend to be that way when we get them from restaurants, fast food, or in packages. So it's really a good idea to make most of your foods. Let's do it easily this time with this book because she gave me an idea that I hadn't had before as it relates to um, uh, beans, and in particular, pinto beans. She calls it perfect pinto beans. This is what it looks like when it comes out of her pot. That's just a perfect pinto bean. And what she does is different than a lot of people do with beans when they cook them. I have always soaked them believing that in order to make them digestible enough to be comfortable for most people, gee, we better soak them. Well, with this method, first of all, with the Instant Pot, with the pressure cooker, they are cooking well enough to break down a lot of the resistance in terms of what we're trying to digest, that it does make digestion easier when we pressure cook beans. But in this case, we're not... Uh, soaking them in advance and yet still getting a delicious product. I've made this a couple of times and I am, all right, I'll just say it, no gassier <laughs> than one would be when they're eating primarily, not primarily, completely a plant-based diet. Lots and lots and lots of fiber. The average American gets less than 15 grams of fiber a day. That is not good for us. It's not just to push food through, it's to feed the microbes in your gut called the microbiome, which then creates short chain fatty acids, which then creates metabolites that, they are metabolites that affect every organ of our body in a positive way. So it's really important to get your fiber to feed your microbiome, not just to keep you regular. So. First thing I did with these beans, and I'm just going to show you what we do with the recipe. Three cups of pinto beans rinsed. And I always rinse my beans and my grains. You know what? I'm gonna get some out of here because I wanna show you. They're the prettiest bean. They're a speckled bean. You see that grays and kind of browns and then speckles. Well, when they're cooked, they are a uniformly kind of pale pink and I have three cups of beans, eight cups of water, six quart Instant Pot. I could have doubled it, in which case I would have put it in a eight quart Instant Pot. And although you can get pinto beans for a dollar can, that's very convenient, you can't, you don't have the same ability to, and these are even less expensive because you can buy them bagged, a pound of them for, well, I don't even know. I don't buy them by the bag, I buy them bulk. And I, and I buy them organic. And I can't remember what I paid for them by pound. Well, that's another subject, but they are well-priced when you buy them dry and make them yourself. Um, but the important part about that is then you can season them the way you want. And I'm going to season them the way she recommends. I put in a half a teaspoon of salt. 
I'm putting in cumin. Now cumin is that uh, flavor that you appreciate in almost all Latin food. And it's so savory and earthy and immediately it gives me a, a wonderful aroma. So are pinto beans healthy? Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, 245 calories a cup of cooked beans. A cup of cooked beans is a lot. It's gonna fill you up. So it actually helps in weight management. It helps in weight management because it's also 15 grams of fiber. So it stays with you a long time. You feel full, but also it's loaded with vitamins and minerals. There is potassium, phosphorus. Um, I wrote down what's in it so that I could remember to tell you magnesium and iron and thiamine. Thiamine is, what is it, B1? And it is one of the vitamins that help um, create energy out of food. It's also an antioxidant food uh, that has been shown to help the repression of cancer cells. So eat your beans and eat lots of them. So I just put in the cumin. I'm adding uh, four uh, teaspoons of um, chopped garlic. I actually put more because I like garlic and I want a nice strong flavor. I'm gonna add to that one chopped jalapeno pepper. Be careful when you work with peppers. I took the seeds out because the seeds make it very hot and I will be serving this to people other than myself and my husband who really like hot food, but I don't wanna put it on someone who doesn't. Um, it can ruin a meal. And then I have one finely chopped onion. And what I was saying about being careful with them is I, I had a whole jalapeno, chopped it in half, carefully without touching it. I used my knife to get out the seeds, but then I held it to uh, julienne it and then chop it across, then wash my hands very carefully because you may not feel anything on your fingers, but if you have any of the juice from the pepper on your fingers and you touch your eye, even hours later, uh, it, it can burn. So be aware of that when you're working with peppers. And that's it. Um, I think you probably know, and I could have kept this here, but I was afraid I was going to whack it and move it around. But that's one of the valuable things about an Instant Pot. They think of everything. This is a great way to put the, the um, when you open it up, for example, even to get the uh, cover out of your way. Put it on. That's the sound you expect. Make sure that that the, um, the pressure knob is down. And I'm setting this for 24 minutes. So pressure, 24. Every iteration of, of the Instant Pot has a different con uh, con confirmation here of buttons. For example, this pressure cooker button is here on the six quart on my, oops, didn't mean to do that. Cancel and do it again. Oh, there, all I had to do was add one more. I want to set it for 25 minutes. Um, so in other words, buttons are in different places and the, the newer ones have um, more options as to what it'll do. I'm so happy with this, with doing just pressure cooking for everything. I do my oat groats, quinoa, rice, uh, potatoes, all of these are batch cooked so that when I make a meal, I can throw things together and that's what I'm doing here. I already have one batch of the pinto beans. I wanted to show you this so that I'll have another batch. You can freeze them. But what I love about this is what she does in terms of creating a savory broth. And you'll see that when I come back um, in 25 minutes. Be back. Hello. All right, so the beans finished cooking for the 25 minutes at high pressure. I released the pressure valve within five minutes because they're not finished. I don't want them to be finished yet. They are, at this point, well, let me just put this here. As I've described, you can. The problem is they're gonna leak a little bit. 
and in order to not have that very moist steam going out into the house and onto the floor, let me show you what I did. I have a little towel. I use these to wipe up counters, a uh, fresh one every day. And I just, I used a fresh one and I put it around the steam valve um, so that it, it um, the steam could come through the opening in the towel, but not just spray out all water and absorbed a lot of the moisture as it did it. So take this off. I'll show, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the cover off to the side. And I'll show you what I have. It's a rather brothy bean. Well, I don't want them to be brothy. I want them to be, oh, like, like a, 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 well, like frijoles, where you have the bean, but you also have very rich sauce. So this is what she does. She puts it on saute, sets it for 25 minutes, and this is, Oh, I have to cancel, then saute, 25 minutes. And this is Tony's secret. And she said, taste it after the 25 minutes, this next 25 minutes. And if they're still not to your liking, saute them longer. So in other words, we're showing them who's boss. <laughs> they have been cooked. We are now deciding how much longer they're going to cook, how thick, we want the broth to be because right now there's a lot of broth there and I've and both times I've made it I saw that was where the magic was because we have all of these flavors and they're going to condense they're going to become richer thicker and um, ultimately uh, just envelop those beautiful beans and I'll show you that when we get to that point I'm in the middle of doing other things for dinner so it's almost dinner time. I'll probably get back to you after dinner. Bye-bye. Hello. Okay. I want to give a shout out again to Tony Alcamoto. When you see her book, if you get it, let me see if I can find some pictures. There's Tony, by the way. She's Hispanic. Her husband's half Asian. Uh, the recipes are terrific. The photos are gorgeous. And um, the ideas are wonderful for quick and easy vegan meals. And this is what I came up with after cooking it 25 minutes, not wanting it to be as brothy as it was cooking it another eight. And she says this, depends on your beans. Beans can take a shorter time, a longer time than what you expect. They can absorb more, they can absorb little um, or less than expected. But this is what I am leaving it at. Can you see that? Look at how beautiful those are. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I want to show you what I pulled out of my... Will that work without causing a tragedy in my kitchen? Probably not. Okay. I'm going to show you what I pulled out of my refrigerator, one of my Tupperware containers. And this is from the last batch. And I've... We've had two meals from the last batch. This is how much is left. And I'm gonna turn this into a soup. I will saute a bunch of vegetables, a lot of mushrooms, throw this in, and that'll feed us for another two dinners. That's how we roll. I do a lot of things just sort of thrown together so that we don't spend so much time in food prep. But look, see when they thicken, any starch, when it cools, is gonna thicken and you can see now, when I, when I uh, heat this, it's going to be looser, but, but um, the, the starch really does thicken. And then what happens is when I make a soup out of this or I use it to do any kind of a, a recipe that is not just hot beans with rice, let's say, where I could just sit and eat a half a cup, three quarters of a cup, a, a cup of it, um, I will add broth. And as a matter of fact, I just did that with dinner. I had two vegetable meals, both Asian flavored, that were left over. One was a Thai, spicy Thai stir fry that um, used soy sauce and ginger and, and Asian flavored. Um, and the other one was, oh, it was Tom, Tammy and Tom, 
of Nutmeg Notebook, he has out Tom's uh, Instapot soup. And I made the Instapot soup. Well, he uses miso as the broth base. It's wonderful, by the way, and very fun. And we made that a dinner, but we had leftovers. So I put the two together, the two Asian dishes. Kind of hard for me to show you. But that, oh, it's gonna spill. This is, doesn't it look good? This is dinner tonight. So there are, when people think, oh, if I'm not eating meat, there's nothing to eat. There's everything to eat, absolutely everything. I'll um, show you what I pulled out of my yard this morning. My double daffodils and my alstromerias have just begun to bloom. I added them to my little saffron bottle bouquet that I've been keeping around the house and putting different flowers in, and I'm done. Have a great day. I know I'm going to. Um, again, shout out for this terrific book, Plant Based on a Budget, Quick and Easy. She lived below the poverty line for years and years as a student, and so her um, training was um, well, uh, um, well fought. Her, her knowledge is well fought for. And um, because she lived it and she did it. Have a great night. For me, it's a night time almost. Bye-bye.